Oh, this is real with Robo, and I just read that that Madison Bell chick or Maddie Bell was found safe by the police. She done went off and decided, hey, I'm going to start a new life without telling anybody. I'm just going to leave my car right here, jump in another car, and just run out. Um, that was, I mean, first off, let's say what's real, you know. I'm glad she was found safe. But I'm going to have to get real with you. Okay, Miss Maddie Bell, when you do come out of your little cocoon and your little solitary confinement where you're like, I don't want nobody knowing where I am. I don't want nobody contacting me. I just want to be left alone. When you're all done with that, I want you to be ready for some backlash. Because I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. You have people all over the United States praying for you, hoping for you, even crying for you, donating to you, and people from search parties that are located in Texas coming up there, wasting their gas, wasting their money, wasting time with their families so that they could help search for you. Now, that's what I call an immature-ass child. You could have just looked at your mom and said, Mama, look. Okay, I had plans to leave with this dude today. I'm fitting to leave with this dude today because I want to start a new life. I'm not happy here. Thank you for raising me, you know, putting food in my belly for the past 18-odd years. Thank you for teaching me how to eat with the spoon. Thank you for dressing me you know, teaching me all this stuff, buying me all this stuff. Thank you for all that, but I'm not happy here, so I'm going to go and start my life. You could have at least had the nerve to look your forever boyfriend, whatever y'all call each other or called each other. You could have looked at him like a real woman. And I'm saying this because he probably won't say this because he, he seemed too nice. And I hope he finds a woman that is worth his time, not you. Or not like you. Because you trash right now. You make all women look trashy. You going to leave your forever boyfriend without even going up to him and saying, look, man, been a cool ride through high school, but now that I'm an adult, you know, my wants and my wishes and my tastes change. So I want to go with old boy here, and uh, I wish you the best of luck. That boy was crying on the videos. Your mama was crying on the videos. And you waited a week? Okay, look here, chick. You waited a whole week. Now, it'd be different if, you know, after your graduation and all that, you just pop up and be gone. And, like, you leave a text. You know, you text your mom, Mom, I'm out. All right? I've graduated. I'm ready to move on to my adult life. I got somebody that'll help me out. I'm out. But, no, you wait a week to contact the police and say, hey, you know, I saw all over the place how everybody looking for me and everybody trying to find me. And I want to let you guys know I left on my own accord and I'm okay. I just did not want that life anymore. That's immature. That ain't being a woman. You being a little sorry, spoiled punk. And I'll be the first to say that. I'll be the first to say that. You had your mama crying on the video camera. And don't act like you didn't see it. What, was you all excited and soaking up all the tension? Is that what you was doing? You was all excited that all the focus was on Miss Maddie. You watched your mama cry on the video. Her soul was broken on that video. I even damn near cried for her on that video. And you could not send her a damn text that said, Mama, look, I saw you on that video. 
I'm sorry about the way I live, but I wanted a skirt and start a new life. Okay, I'm sorry. Tell them to call off the search. I'm not missing. I'll text you later when I get to where I'm going and what I'm doing. I'm so sorry for putting you through this. But instead, you let your mama think that you may be missing, you may be dead, you may be being raped, you may be being beat up, hell, kidnapped, hostage, for a whole week. And for that, you get the eternal award of you ain't shit from Real With Robo. Because you ain't shit. I mean, good God, let my children do that. Let my ch uh, let my children do that. I'm be like, officer, where where they at? Uh, we can't tell you because they full grown adults, and that's what my children better wish the officer would tell them. But I don't think the officer would be on a side like that. They'd be like, um, okay, yeah, I see your point. They wasted all these funds that could have been looking for someone else. Like that little nine-year-old that went missing and then found dead and his mama killed him. But I'd be like, where are they? Oh, they here, here, and here. And I'd be like, okay, okay. And then when they get a knock on the door, okay, you, you gonna wish you popped up missing. You gonna wish you popped up missing. And I'm gonna do it right in front of the officer. Cause you finna get your ass beat. Even my daughter, who is old enough to take care of herself, but done show me she's mature enough to take care of herself and her little brother, who is now 18. Okay. She texts me. She let me know when she moves. She's like, Mama, I'm moving to Reno. Okay, Mama, I'm moving to Nevada. Okay, I'm in Las Vegas now. Mama, I'm over here now. Your mama was crying up on that video. Her soul was broken. I saw it. She, she couldn't even speak. She was all <gasps> trying to breathe because she was hurting so bad. And you had the nerve to put that woman through one week of that shit. And that's like eternity to parents. You know, I'm glad you was found safe. Honestly, I'm real glad you were found safe. But in the real though, as a mama, I hope you get your bitch ass stumped by life. <coughs> real talk. To where you have to go back to your mama and go, Mama... I was wrong. Uh, mama, can I live with you, please? And where you have to go back to your boyfriend and say, Oh, that new guy I was with, he cheated on me. And he had like 13 baby mamas. And, and, and the world is treating me cruel, Mama. Can I come back in? I hope you had to beg to that woman. And knowing the kind of woman she is, watching the kind of soul break that she went through, she gonna say, yeah, you can come back in. But going like that and then waiting a week just shows what kind of person you are, Miss Maddie. You ain't shit. You ain't no real woman. You ain't no strong woman, neither. Everything that your mama said about you was a lie. That was her view of her baby girl. You pathetic. And I hope you ready for the backlash you will be catching. Because if you think I'm mean, you ain't seen shit yet. And this goes for all the women, men, boys, girls out there that want to start a new life. Don't play with your folks. Just tell them the truth. Look, if you ain't down to be with your husband or your wife, just say, look, it was a cool ride. I ain't got money to pay you out of money, but I want to leave you, okay? Straight up. I'm fit, I'm fit to strike with the kids. I'm fit to get up out of here. You know? And y'all can fight over the kids. That's the same thing with murder. Don't kill your child if they too much for you. 
kill the system. They ain't too much for me. And I'm fitting to hurt these motherfuckers. So you need to take them from me. Be real with yourself. And this, this Maddie Bell case got me hot. Because I watched her mama cry on that video. And that broke me as a mama. I said that poor woman. I just wanted to hug her and put her up under my wing and said, Baby, it's going to be alright, girl. We're going to find your baby. And then come to find out, this chick waited a whole week while her mama was terrorized, tormented, tortured like that. A whole week. Because she was too wrapped up in herself. And I'm sorry, Mama of uh, Maddie Bell. I'm real sorry, okay? I'm real sorry to you that you raised such a beautiful child. And she turned out to be such an inconsiderate bitch. And that's real with Robo.